Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. I suspect that Vardan died when the portal closed. The body cannot survive without the soul. Uh, you might think that, but I'll tell you right now, that is not the case. <laughs> the Bloodthorns created a portal to the spirit realm with this Welkin stone. Vardan is on the other side, commanding the spirits slaying the orcs. He's trapped over there since we closed the portal. Okay, and how can we stop him? Without the Breton ritual Vardan used, only one without a soul can cross the portal. That means you. You must activate the Welkin Stone, enter the spirit realm, and kill Vardan. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, am I in the spirit realm? Everything got really blue. Uh... Oh, okay. So we're going through here. Oh, so you are Vard... Dan, can we talk? You're too late. Uh, uh oh. My army feeds. Whoa. Okay. So you are just dangerous right off the bat. <laughs> uh, I forgot how much I love that attack. Storm calling increased to 12. I can now purchase an ultimate ability. Nice. I don't have any skill points, though. That's a bummer. Uh, touch the relic. Okay. Strange that such a small thing can cause such terror. It must be destroyed. Hold on. Let's think about this. What's to think about? It killed hundreds of orcs. The cultist did that. In the right hands, this could defend the Covenant against invaders. I'm not giving that thing to the people who leveled Orsinium. Okay. Yeah, so that whole scene I actually remember seeing in those, uh, those visions that I saw. Uh, where I lit the fire and I had a vision of the future. So, but that was one of the visions, but there were still two others to go. <laughs> one of them was the silly werewolves. I love that. Okay, so we've got Captain Colleen and Lambert trying to figure out what they want to do with that stone. Let's hear Lambert's side of the story. Destroy the relic now! Didn't you hear the screams as those things consumed the souls of my people? Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a hard decision, though, because Captain Colleen is right. This could help us. It should be an easy one. You must destroy it. Do not hand it to the ones who leveled Orsinium and try to exterminate all my kind. Um, Orsinium, what do you... What do you mean that they destroyed Orsinium? You mentioned that before. Orsinium used to be the Orc homeland. Breton and Redguard kings have a nasty habit of burning it to the ground. Now the Covenant will solve all our problems? You give them the relic, they'll use it to keep Orcs in line. If not now, then one day. Uh, I mean, that kind of sounds like you're speaking in hypotheticals, though, I mean, I guess if Orsinium's been destroyed multiple times over... Uh, but how likely is that? This object is a curse, a danger to all. It can be turned against anyone as easily as Vardan turned it against the orcs. Unless you want me as an enemy, destroy that thing. Uh, okay, I will consider that. I definitely don't want you as an enemy. The relic, ours at last, for the Covenant. So you think we should keep it? Yes, keep it and use it. A discovery like this could tip the war in our favor. Think of all the lives we could save. Um, this thing seems only really good at ending lives. With this relic, our enemies would not dare invade the Covenant. No more packed raids out of Skyrim. No Dominion fleets in our waters. Think of a whole ocean here, not just the waves. 
It's what we must do to protect our people, all our people. Uh, I have to think about that. You know, I'm not usually on the side of anyone who wants to take the very dangerous, evil, floating object uh, and take it for themselves. Uh, I feel like that's um, good intentions, you know, pave the road to self-destruction. Uh, Master Kassan, what do you think? This thing must be destroyed. Uh, I'm not so certain. No, if Master Kassan says that we destroy it, we absolutely destroy it. Uh, now, how? Examine. Uh, the orb pulses with, pa with power, driven by the energy of thousands of stolen souls. Uh, yeah, we're going to banish the relic into the spirit realm. Whew, that's bright. Very bright. Okay, I can see again. Um, oh, so I'm assuming Captain Kassan is not, or Captain Kaleen is not going to be too happy with me. You've betrayed me and the Covenant with your actions. I can't stand to be in your company anymore. You'll leave here without me. All right. Uh, why does it seem like it hurt people? Alright, let's go talk to Lamber. I'm assuming she ran away once it destroyed, or got destroyed. Here's Lamber. The relic is gone, and my people's souls are at rest. I thank you for your choice. You are very welcome. Uh, who else? Naramo, are you on my side? I'm satisfied that fools won't be allowed to tinker with the relic. But I regret the lost opportunity to study it. You know what, you're right. It, it was a very interesting relic, and I think that there was a lot we could have learned from it. Um, but no, it's not worth the risk of it being turned against uh, innocent people. Where's Captain Kassan? Oh boy. <laughs> Your choice was the right one. Do not dwell on it. Alright, thank you, Kassan. Yeah, I I don't feel too bad about it. I think that was definitely the right Must decision. I suffer so? Okay, so our next order of business, um I should let Chief Tazgul know that I destroyed the relic. Now where is he? He's way up north. Or nope, south, sorry, that's us. Okay. So let's head out and go talk to him. Are these... I think they're still hostile. So I am going to try and avoid them. As much as possible. And I hope I'm going the right way. Yeah, I think so. to... Yep, okay. So we actually are... Oh, right, I want to get up there. Okay. Yeah. And I assume he's here in the center. No, actually, he's off to the side. Right? Probably up in that tower, I would assume. Or not. That was just a huge waste of time. <laughs> okay, where is Chief Tazgul? Uh, is he over... Is he inside? The map shows that he isn't. out here running in circles. This was a huge mistake. Uh, I'm assuming he's not up there. Where is he? Oh, you know what? I think there is a location that I can enter at the center of this, uh, this circular plaza here. I think I can enter his encampment, I think. Right? Yeah, that building right there. Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> 
made of the relic. I did. Hopefully you agree with me. What did you decide to do with the relic? Oh, you're an orc. You'll absolutely agree with me. <laughs> I destroyed it, so no one's going to use it against anyone else, or specifically you guys, again. The only correct choice. War should be honorable. There is no honor in the use of such a device. You have saved my tribe and my island. For this, I owe you a great debt. Thank you, but do you think that maybe your debt could take the form of a new lightning staff? Or something not a giant two-handed axe? I guess not. One less alien relic to plague our world. Good. Uh, yeah, so what's next? Your actions have revealed a vulnerability. I thought my tribe safe on our island. This Bloodthorn attack proved me wrong. Only you and your friends on the Spearhead United were able to save this island. So, uh, what exactly are you asking me to do? Months ago, Sir Lannis offered membership in the Daggerfall Covenant. I refused. You showed me I was wrong. We need allies. I would ask you to travel to Glenumbra and give Sir Lannis my petition to join. I've ordered Captain Colleen to sail you there. <laughs> Something tells me she's not going to be too happy about that. Uh, but yeah, I will forward your petition to join the Dagger Daggerfall Covenant. And I... Oh, right, I hit, just hit level 7. Okay, so... Alright, so I have to talk to Captain Colleen. That's not a conversation I'm excited to have. Uh, and she's over on her boat. Let's see if I can get there this way. Uh, nope. That's just death. Maybe here? I've never been down this way. Hearthwife Sholg. Is there a reason you're in the Chief's chambers? If not, be on your way. Oh, okay. I will be. I will be. I was just poking around, seeing if there was anything here worth having. Okay. So, Captain Colleen, huh? You, you don't have anyone else who could sail me to Glenumbra. Uh, you had to pick the probably the one person on your island who hates me the most. She's probably gonna throw me overboard halfway there, if I'm being honest. <laughs> and it's raining. That's an ominous sign. I'm about to talk with who is currently my mortal enemy, and it's raining. I'm pretty sure that's that's how all murders happen. Okay, Captain Colleen on the boat. Let's see if we can find her. I swore never to sail with you again, but Chief Tazgul has asked me to sail you to Glenumbra, which I will do. Uh, yeah, just, I'll keep my distance from you. <laughs> uh, so Chief Tazgul's ready to join the Covenant. Uh, he asked you to take me to Daggerfall. Yeah, I think she already, I think she already knows that. Only out of respect for the Chief and for the good of the Alliance, not for you. Are you ready to go? Yep, let's go. We've arrived. Welcome to Daggerfall. You don't have to sound so sarcastic about it. <laughs> okay, so this is Glenumbra. Let's see, where does that put us on the map? Alright, so we are way over here. Okay. Hey, Clanker's back. I wish I could have retrieved that alien relic for study. But you were wise to destroy it rather than place it in Breton hands. I realize Colleen disagrees with your decision, but never doubt it was the right one. Yep, I think so too. Though I don't know why everyone is saying that just Breton hands would be the bad one. What's so wrong with Bretons? <laughs> okay, uh, Andrilion. I want to go back to Stros Mackay, but no one will sail me there. My life couldn't get worse. Oh man, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were depressed. I know going against Colleen was a hard thing. It was for me as well. We have more history together than you can imagine. Even so, I'm leaving. It's time to start my own crew, sail my own ship. You, my friend, would be welcome with us anytime. Nice, I would like that. Life of a pirate. 
orc captain. I think that would be pretty awesome. Alright, so we're here in Glenumbra, and I need to give uh, someone, I'm not entirely sure, sure who, uh, the letter that uh, Chief Tazwul is ready to join the Alliance. So I'm assuming I'll just find the city center, and then just, I don't know, can I ask a secretary? <laughs> It is nice to finally be on the Tamriel Island itself, though. Um, we're finally done with all of the starting islands and everything. If you want a horse, then we have something to talk about. If you want gossip, find the tavern. Uh, I'll take a look at the stable. Right, just gonna increase my speed. Thank you. Started the harbor. What? Only you can see me. I almost missed you, honestly. Uh, yeah, what's up, Prophet? There you are, Vestige. We must speak at once. Listen well. I have located a safe harbor from which we might plan our course of action. You must meet me there. Okay, and where's the safe harbor? I awoke in a city of Bretons. It's air heavy with the smells of baked bread, horses, and intrigue. Daggerfall. The harborage is in an abandoned cave outside the city. Okay, I'll find you there. And I might pick up some bread along the way. I mean, why not, right? Okay, here we are, Glenumbra. Uh, what's that? Is that a crafting writ? Yeah. Uh, yeah, read the fine print and continue reading. Got it, got it. Okay. So, crafting certification. But I really need to find who to turn. Talk to Sir Lannis Sheldon? I guess I missed him right out front. Let's see. The proud city of Daggerfall greets you. Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah, I bring a petition from Chief Tazgul who wants to join the Covenant. The Seamount War Chief? Impressive. I don't know what you did to convince him, friend. But you have my gratitude. Well done. I will take this petition to High King Emmerich immediately. Enjoy your stay in Daggerfall. Okay, sounds good. So, we've completed that. He's going to go run that petition off to, I guess, Emmerich is the King of the Covenant. So, sounds good to me. And... We've got... Some crafting we could do here. Trading. Right. Oh, okay. So the Harbridge is actually just right outside. He was not joking. And I think it's down this way. Uh, let's see. Oh, I totally missed it. Okay, it's still down further a little bit more. Uh, yep, that looks like a cave. Right, the harborage? Yes. Prophet, you couldn't pick anywhere a little bit less um, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Come closer, Vestige. Welcome to the Harborage, Vestige. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried-up husk like myself could hope for. Aw, oh, don't say that. How'd you find it? Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. Uh, I don't know what smell you were on the lookout for, but I do not think this place has any good smell about it. <laughs> uh, when you first appeared to be in Cold Harbor, you spoke about my destiny. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, 
Every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. Uh, a history lesson? Of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past, that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. Okay. Enter my mind, Vestige, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Oh, I guess I don't really have a choice on that matter. Ooh. Prophet, your mind is a little bit, um, fractured. <laughs> Follow me, Vestige, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. My part in the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests with no memory of my prior life. The moth priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. It was there I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. Oh, so that's an Elder Scroll. The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take a look at it real quick. That's awesome. Very cool. Right, Prophet, I'm following, I'm following. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing, they are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. Uh, yeah, so what does this all have to do with me? I only know that you are important, Vestige. The scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the Five Companions. And uh, who are they? The Five Companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. Uh, and what's, uh, what's Dragonborn? The Dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness, with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true Dragonborn can ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. And who was this leader? Baron Aquilarius, the son of Calobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Varon was not truly a dragonborn, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself and witnessed their fate. Okay. Yeah, this place is pretty dark, Prophet. I'm a little concerned that First you're kind of a bad guy. Born, daughter of giants, was hey, the we met. Mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abner Farm, a powerful sorcerer and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Sahan, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. I like his beard. The Imperial <laughs> Emperor. Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manamarco, the traitor, mm. king of worms, a powerful necromancer, and your executioner. Yeah. I don't suppose you can let me kill his ghost, right? These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost amulet of kings. Uh, yeah, so how does this amulet turn Varen into one of the Dragonborn anyways? I mean, you said it's just an amulet. Many Marco convinced Varen that the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragon fires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Varen as one of the Dragonborn. And why did Varen want to be Dragonborn? Well, you've already kind of explained, right? It was just because he wanted to become uh, the Emperor. By tradition, only the Dragonborn can lay claim to the Ruby Throne and rule as the one true Emperor by divine right. Baron conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne, 
but unless he became dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. Oh, yeah, so tell me about Manamarco. Manamarco the traitor, the great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. It was he who convinced Varen to perform the ritual you are about to witness. Uh, so what happened with this ritual? Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. Alright, so the five companions entered a throne there it room. Is. The dragon fire brazier. Manimarko, you certain this will work? It will work, my liege. The amulet of kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as emperor. You have my word. You guys it couldn't tell he was Marco, evil? Or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, See, I wonder Lyris if you trust him. Giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. By the Just a lot of, of arrogant people fires, making stupid decisions. Lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself... Dragonborn! Oh, that looks bad. Baron Aquilarius, you are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder. What's happening? The sky is opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Ah! Yeah, you weren't kidding when you called him a traitor. The ritual tore the veil between Nairn and Oblivion, allowing Manamarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the Dark Anchors and initiate the Plain Mount. Uh, so what exactly went wrong besides Manamarco just being a traitor? Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nairn. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs, the dragon fires remain lit, Tamriel will be protected from the Daedra. And next? Manamarco tricked Varen into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nern from their hosts. Uh, so what happened to the other companions then? Varen was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menemarko and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molag Baal. And Abnar Thon in Menemarko? Thon remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Tribio rules as Empress Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Menemarko and his worm cult. Alright, so then how did you end up in Cold Harbor? When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manamarco got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. They saw you as a threat? The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamarco feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Oops. I cut you off when you were telling me to walk with you, but yes, I will. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was borne by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. 
but the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molok Baal the opportunity he desired. Molok Baal's dark anchors pierced the tall veil and seek to draw near into the depths of Kalkhan. These terrible engines of destruction appear in the If it wasn't so evil, that'd be awesome. But it's evil, so it's not. But it's kind of awesome. I don't suppose you could bump the pace up to a slight jog. Profit. If the Lord of Brutality and Domination is successful, he will merge our world and his own in a terrible plain mill. Few will survive the ordeal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. And so it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Bar and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. And now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the harborage? Yeah, let's go back. As you say. Ooh, that was fast. And so it begins. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. Yeah, you've given me a lot to think about, Prophet. And there is so much to do. But know this, you will not walk this path alone. Alright, so uh, then what's the next move? We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris! Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. And in the meantime? Minamako's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents, wherever they can be found, and expose their lies. I'll do what I can. Forgive me. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Vistage. Okay, so we learned quite a lot, and our next move is going to be to get Lyris back. And I got a skill point. A lot to consider. Alright. Yeah, so, off to find these Agents of Chaos, and find my way out of here. <laughs>